For Saints faithful, the immediate and back-breaking end to last season has been an unfortunate thorn in their side for six grueling months. Never before has a season with such hope ended with such cruelty. The wait for redemption has been long, but alas, the wait is over. Football has returned. In New Orleans, football is king. Mardi Gras has come and gone, but it's come Mardi Gras that we have all been waiting for. A generational crop of draft talent seemingly turned our team from a pretender to a contender. Faster than you can say, Lattimore. Just as the Saints faithful were beginning to believe that this year could be different, a Jaguar was on the loose. No, not that Jaguar. I'm talking about the ones in Jacksonville. With a new coach and a new attitude, these cats were different. Built through the big boys, their version of bully ball pushed them to the AFC Finals, where they ran into their own version of the Minnesota Miracle, theirs named Brady. One year ago, this game would have featured two teams on the hot seat. Today, there's simply two teams that got hot. While the preseason games do not count, they do matter. The Saints roster is as deep as it has ever been, and roster spots are hard to come by. Who will be this year's Pierre Thomas? Players who tonight are considered forgettable, but in months could become indispensable. This game is not the start of the season, but it is the start of the journey. This journey ends in the shiny new home of our most hated rivals. A rival whose home, come February, we could paint black and gold. Are you ready for some football? I know I am. Tonight, Saints-Jags, here on the Saints Radio Network.